Hello, this is John again, and welcome back. I did an area here where I added a bunch of juniper bushes, and over here I added a few more cedar trees and a few more bushes. But unfortunately I forgot to turn the camera on, so I'll have to apologize for that. But I've got another area right here that I want to do in juniper bushes and stuff, so I will... Uh, get that done for you and, and show you how I did that and we're going to do a little uh, highlighting and detailing too to bring some life. The uh, technique for for uh, doing these is just dab your brush in the paint and I'm going to do a couple different colors here. We're going to start with we're going to have some light green and some dark green and and this is another hill that I want to do basically all in juniper bushes to just to give it just to give her some depth and some character it seems to be that layers is what gives you your 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 depth on these things so we're going to add a few more layers here get some get some nice bushes on here and and I'm not going to go all the way to the bottom because I think I might put a, another rock cut right near the bottom Just adding right in this area here. We're going to add a little color here and there. I got some dark green mixed up for this part. And then I've also got some light green mixed up. And we'll give her a little, a little variety and a little color. This uh, area here of, of juniper bushes will just add a little highlight and a little detail to the, to the area. Just uh, keep her from being so boring. It's like I say, it's the layers that bring it to life. So you want it to look as real as you can. So these layers really help do that. Here again, I'm not doing any pattern really. I'm just trying to just get some highlights in there. Just stand back every now and again and take a look at it and, and see whether you like it or not. This green here is almost a little too light, but I can just go over top with a little more dark and, and that will be all right. There again, your greens, uh, you mix blue and yellow and different combinations to give you lighter greens, dark greens. And then if you want to get a really dark green, there again, add just a little dab of black. And uh, that will give you your different shades and greens. So I'm going to darken this up just a hair. Want some highlights coming through, but don't want it quite that bright. It's quite easy. Just go right back over top. We're just we're just doing juniper bushes here, or sumacs, whatever it is you want to call them. Like I said before, we have tons of these in Ontario, and they seem to run along the road beds the railroads too dirt through the rock cuts and and just normal cuts through the through the earth they is they're everywhere okay so now we've got some got some uh got quite a bit of variety there let's just go ahead and put a few more over here just just stand back every now and again and and take a look and and we'll kind of feather these out and make just a few less over here so it kind of feathers out a little bit there we go now while I'm waiting for that to dry a little bit I'm going to add some highlights to the background trees just to give them some definition and and everything right there there we go now what we're going to do is I'm going to take a little bit of Going to take a little bit of yellow and you, and you put it on your brush and you dab it, and then just just add just a little. And if you see how, basically just doing the different areas here, leaving a little separation between them, just to, I'm going to do a little bit of orange to it. I I kind of changed a little bit. I want to. Instead of doing an early spring scene, I want to do 
little bit more of an early fall scene a lot more color so I think it'll add a lot more character to the to the railroad I mixed up some yellows and some reds and some oranges here just gonna add in some colors give it a little variety these will represent background oak trees, maple trees, birch trees, poplar trees. It'll add all that color to her. And like I say, it's early fall, so we still get a lot of the green showing through. So you just want to do the, the real light dabbing just to, just to add a little bit of color, but not, a, not overbearing. There we go. Now on the bottom, we can do the same thing on the bottom row. And like I say, you just take your you take your brush, you dip it in the paint, and then you just dab it out so that it's just barely light on the brush. Let's add a little variety to the to the darker trees on the foreground layer here. There again, we'll do a couple different colors. Just uh Give her some variety here. Just, uh, oh, that's a little too much right there. There we go. There again, just let the let the uh, background green show through some. There we are. That's nice color right there at it now let's move over here let's see if you can see that now there we are that's the area that I did. that's uh sumax or junipers or or whatever have you and those tend to have some really bright red flowers on them in the or the leaves i should say turn a really bright red in the fall there again, take your brush, dip it out, and you don't want to overdo this. You just want to try to add a little color here and there. Nothing, nothing overbearing. Just to give her that color. And the lighter you dab your brush, the finer your, your uh, leaf pattern will be on these. Just nice and light dabs. Getting some red showing in there. Just some really nice kind of background color here. Now, of course, in front of this, I'm going to put another couple of trees, maybe some rocks, things like that, just to, just to push that back in the background farther. There we go. I think that's all we really need there. So while I'm at it, I've got lots of paint handy. Let's just go ahead and add a little more detail to these background trees here. There's some, get some orange in there. And we'll do a little red here and there. Oops, that's a little heavy. Great thing about it is paint is if you get it on a little too heavy, you can just wipe it off just like that. Okay, now just nice and lightly there. That might re represent a nice maple tree or a nice oak tree. Of course, oaks have a lot of oranges in them. Maples do too, so they just add those different colors in. Just to give her some visual appeal there. Now let's go ahead and get some straight yellow on there as well. Maybe get some poplar or birch trees in there. There we go. And it's not hard if you if you uh, do get uh, too much on, just wipe it off with your finger or the wet paper towel again. Not an issue at all.
There we go. Ah, uh, still too heavy. I got that brush in a little more. There we go. There, that's better. There we are. Let's go ahead and add a little red in that. You don't even clean your brush in between. You just go ahead and just keep on dabbing her on. We'll fill in this little area right here in between that I haven't got done yet. Just add some nice color to her. Ah, there I go. Doing too heavy again. Dab that, dab that brush out. Get her nice and light. There we go. Get some nice colors going here. There we go. And a few more here. Let's get that there. Let's get a little more yellow again. There we are. Now, we'll go to the bottom area. There we are, just barely highlighted. Just give her, just give her a little color. Like I say, we're, I'm doing, I, here again, I'm doing early fall, so, so it's, uh, just kind of just barely giving her some color. There we are. Let's go to the other side. We'll get some over there. Just light, just really light dab emotions. Add a little more red to that. There we go. Just Get some, there we are, look at that. Just adding some nice background color. Now the other side is about ready to go again. So we'll just go back over here and this area that I added earlier. Let's go ahead and get our red. Remember the lighter your dabs, the finer your flower texture. There we go. Just like that. Just, just get that red showing through on these on these sumacs or junipers. There we go. Just there. Just lies. Little color here, there. That's a little heavy. A little heavy right there. So let's wipe that off. Dab my brush out a little more. There we go. Yeah, there. That's better. There we are. That's not too bad. That gives us some nice color. There we are. So... With that, there we go. There's there's our background trees. Just got some nice color going on there. And we got our junipers up front on each side of our water here. And then we got the other side as well. So now we're starting to get some real color going here. And she's starting to get some real character and some real depth. So by the time I add some rocks out front and, and some taller foreground trees, this is going to start looking pretty good. So if you like this, then uh, tune in again for my next video. And I'm going to do either some rocks or some different foreground trees on this. So thanks again for watching. Bye.